thundering poet, and I shall recite for you now some pieces penned by that legendary scribbler and my close personal pal, Skip Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a place to stand, and I shall rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, Romans, and countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. All the world is a stage. Bulls and shackles, shall this fellow live? Sit up. <laughs> Whose ward are you? I am Montgomery's ward. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as funny as we get, folks. <laughs> Not like that, you better grab a beer and find a mime. <laughs> will you shut up? Or will I have you solace? Solace, you appreciate talk. What is this bad escape of theatrical sewer gas you're dumping on these people? I am a wandering poet. Oh, why don't you wander off the end of the dock? Have you not many times seen me upon the stage? Off and on. Well, how didn't thou like me? Off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just a step behind me there, weren't you? Huh? What know you of the poet's art? I? I. Oh. You. I owe you. You owe me what? <laughs> Melt down. You do well to ask what no I. What is poetry, you say? Poetry is devil's wine. It is lascivious music. It is that stuff in books that doesn't quite reach to the margins. <laughs> Poetry is the synthesis of hyacinths and biscuits. <laughs> I bet you couldn't say that before the surgery. You're right. <laughs> Mine uncle, God rest his soul, my uncle was himself a poet of great renown. Your uncle? My uncle. <laughs> the pirate poet Alexander Wordsworth Bluebeard Grotowski. What? <coughs> oh, you mean he of the hook arm? I, the pirate poet, he of the hook arm and the patch over one eye. What? How did he lose his eye? He lost his eye when a seagull pooped in it. <laughs> that is ridiculous. You cannot lose your eye if a bird poops in it. You can when it's your first day with a hook arm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dare you, slave, come hither, covered with antic disposition, to fear and scorn at my solemnity. Why are you talking like this? <laughs> Steroid. Oh, I, <laughs> I swear and for not, sir, tis you yourself, person, your mischief, and soon shall thrust your soul to that. Go, for sure. <laughs> Shaw. <laughs> Shaw, piffle and wonder bucket. <laughs> Sir, if you brought this woman here, you have an obligation to see that she's properly entertained. Get her out of here now! <laughs> fie, hey! Don't you fight me! I'll fight you! Fie, 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 fie! Hi, fie! <laughs> Look you! How now? Keep thy folly to thyself, and thy wits about thee, in mixed company, anon. <laughs> this is what comes from having loose immigration law. <laughs> Repeat me your name, that after your demise, I may inform your family. My family already knows my name. <laughs> Thought-provoking, isn't it? You, however, you may call me Ralph Pugh. <laughs> My parents didn't, I still hate them for it. And you? I hate them for it, too. Oh, your name, you idiot. I am Thomas Snot. <laughs> Why am I complaining? <laughs> Thomas Snot, eh? No, Thomas A. Snot. Are you not familiar, Thomas Snot, with the Sussex Doctrine of 1568? 
intend and proclaim to my own good King Henry. The Sussex Doctrine? The Sussex Doctrine, sir. What about it? It states unequivocally that I, Ralph Puke, and now and from this time forward, the right royal guardian of public moral turpitude. No, why would the king afford you privileges like that? Because I have the soul of a prince. <laughs> <laughs> moral authority of a bishop. <laughs> And the hygiene habits of a yak. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lost control of the old veggie, I did. <laughs> well, I won't. Listen, they're organic. <laughs> are you sure? I'm positive. Only fools are positive. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. Right. <laughs> it won't happen again, I promise you. Because I'm moving over here. <laughs> Can we move this along a little faster? There's someone on after us. After us now. Uh, I mean later than us. I didn't know we were late. We're not late. We will be if you don't move this along a little faster. <laughs> There's someone on after us, you know. <laughs> There's less here than meets the eye. You know? <laughs> thou didst give me the counterfeit fairly these months and fortnights past. Yes, I've been gone. Where hast thou been? Where have I been? Where have you been? On holiday. The dry tortugas? Yeah, but they're okay now. I got some ointment. Hey, stop I... that! <laughs> I repeat, where hast thou been? I there's somebody trapped up there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's entertain them. Wait <laughs> 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 first. Where have I been? I... I have been abroad. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Set me up like that. <laughs> the Crusades, man, the Crusades. I was wounded twice at Constantinople. My host slashed, my doublet cut, my sword hacked like a handsaw. Have a scar? No thanks, I don't smoke. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> your being here is any clue to your intelligence. How can we value your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> don't play with it. You don't know where it's been. Just keep an eye on that. He might have to reload. <laughs> and Percy later. <laughs> Percy Wooster. Percy Wooster. <laughs> Hold it. I'm downwind here. <laughs> Percy later. Head you down mean by. Percy Hotspur. No, Poppycock. <laughs> from Westminster through Fife and Firth. Hotspur from Westminster. Through Fife and Firth. <laughs> Hotspur Falstaff's foil bites east of Minster and Lancashire with Surrey, Scroop and Salisbury. Salisbury? Aye, there's too much at stake here. We better tell them. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I'll go get the car. You hold them off. <laughs> Reminds me of the night we played Stonehenge. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> rain. <laughs> Sorry, Scrub and Salisbury, sir. Far from Mr. Eastern Hills and Cornwall's border. He drove it out with Russell York and Sussel Summers and Nose's Ho. And Molly Brooke and Benford's enemy. What the hell did I just say? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to ask you. <laughs> did you not on Martinmas past meet a certain young wench outside the Western Hotel? Yes, I did. Did you not ply her with cheap liquor and say strange limericks in her presence? Yes, I did. Did you not take her back to your room and ravish her? Yes, I did. Well, that was my wife, and I don't like it one bit. Oh, uh, neither did I. <laughs> what did I lose my momentum here? <laughs> Why are you carrying on like this? Simple joie de vivre, old fellow, simple joie de vivre. Oh, did you pick that up in France? Yeah, but I found it at a street clinic. They gave me a Stop shot. Stop <laughs> <laughs> The language. The language. I was talking about the language. The language. Did you pick it up in France? Un <laughs> And petit peu. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. Excuse me, I could tell you how to do Lorraine. Very good. Colonel Grass, did you toss that semblable halosange? What do you mean you're going to remove her underwear with a weed eater? <laughs> <laughs> Before the Montmartre in Paris? The oh, yeah. Edmonton. Stay out of it. <laughs> you are a flu. 
taunt that my breath might pass through you. You want a harp that my hands might play you. He's a tuba that the lips of the long winded will blow your socks off. <laughs> I'll bet you ten bucks I can get her to kiss me. You're on. You want to make a quick five bucks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smite away, smite away. For I oh, am the I'm mad clothing. pricker of Bedlam Street. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that one? <laughs> no, good steel. If now it is not to come, if it is not to come, it will be now. If it is not now, then it will come. Arr. Arr. <laughs> Those performers like this that give Arnold Schwarzenegger the courage to stay in show business? <laughs>